Crown amps with network control and DSP contain firmware within the amplifier. This firmware can be upgraded within HiQnet Audio Architect software. When updating firmware, it is recommended to use a wired connection as opposed to wireless, and make sure not to power down any device during the update process. To upgrade the firmware, ensure you have the latest version of Audio Architect. Go to audioarchitect.harmonpro.com for more details. Each version of Audio Architect includes only the latest version of firmware for each HiQnet device from Harmon. Within Audio Architect, press the Firmware Update button in the ribbon at the top. A warning will pop up stating that by updating firmware, device settings will be lost. This is true for some older products, but the DCI amplifiers will retain all of their current settings after a firmware update. Either way, it is always best to save a copy of the venue file before updating firmware. After clicking OK, a new window will appear with a row for each device that is detected on the network. Devices do not have to be added to the venue for them to show up in this window. In the firmware update window, the current version of the software can be compared to the most recent available version. If the two versions match, the device already has the latest firmware version. If the available version is higher than the current version, it is time for an update. Click on the update checkbox for the devices you wish to update. The reboot checkbox should automatically populate. Next, click on the begin update button to send firmware to the amplifier. During this time, the status bar will increase until it reaches 100% after which the amplifier will reboot and load the new firmware. After about 90 seconds, Audio Architect will recognize the amplifier and the Close option will appear at the bottom of the firmware update window. Click this button to finish the update process. If an error is encountered where Audio Architect cannot send firmware to the amplifier, it is likely the cause of a firewall. Turn off your firewall or add Audio Architect to the list of firewall exceptions to resolve this issue. Thank you for watching this video. For questions, comments, or suggestions regarding this or any other video, please send them to the email address shown below. For technical assistance, please call the Technical Support Department or email them at the options shown below.